In this video, I'm going to be explaining what adjacent angles and a linear pair are. So let's define adjacent angles first. Simply, adjacent angles are angles that are next to each other, but more specifically, they're next to each other and they share a common ray and a vertex. So here's an example. Angles 1 and 2 are adjacent because they're next to each other, but more specifically because they're sharing ray BC, this ray in the middle of them, and they're sharing vertex B. So because they both have vertex B and they both have ray BC as part of their angle, they are adjacent. Let's define a linear pair. A linear pair has to be two adjacent angles, so the previous adjacent definition has to apply. Their measures are going to add up to 180 degrees, or they're going to combine to make a straight angle here. And their outer sides are opposite rays. So 1 and 2 are adjacent because they share ray BD and vertex B. They're forming a straight angle when we combine their measures, or they add up to 180 degrees. And they have these opposite rays as their outer sides. So ray BC and ray BA are exactly opposite of each other. So let's just practice with those definitions. You want to provide reasoning for your answers. So using those definitions to provide reasoning. In this diagram, we're told that Ray OB and Ray OD are opposite rays, and also Ray OA and Ray OC are opposite rays. So that will help us determine some of the following examples. Name three angles that are adjacent to angle BOA. Well, I know that angle BOA is adjacent to angles that share this ray, OA and this vertex O. So right next to it, angle O, AOE, or EOA would be fine. That angle is adjacent. It's sharing that ray OA and that vertex O. Also, if I ignore that ray and look at angle AOD, they're also sharing that ray OA and vertex O. And if we ignore that ray and look at this big angle over here, AOC, that's actually a straight angle, but it's adjacent to angle BOA because it's sharing ray OA and sharing vertex O. What angle forms a linear pair with angle BOA? So a linear pair with BOA. We want opposite rays. So opposite from ray OB would be ray OD. And to help form that straight angle or make 180 degrees, I would need to combine ray, or angle BOA with angle AOD. Ignore this ray right there. And we have a linear pair, angle BOA and angle AOD. Or angle DOA would be fine. So again, provide your reasoning. They're adjacent because they share a common ray and a vertex. And they're a linear pair because they form a straight angle and have opposite rays. Opposite rays. Oops, sorry. Angle DOC and what other angle form a linear pair? Angle DOC right here. So find the opposite ray. What's opposite from ray OC? Well, ray OA. And make sure they share that common ray to be adjacent. So we must be talking about angle DOA is helping to form a linear pair with DOC. And it's because they're sharing that common ray and that vertex, making them adjacent. And they have opposite rays forming a straight angle or adding up to 180 degrees. Are angle DOE and angle BOA adjacent? Is that true or false? Yes or no? DOE and BOA. DOE and BOA. So even though they're sharing that common vertex, they're not sharing a common ray. This is part of DOE and this is part of BOA. So they're not adjacent because they don't share that common ray. 
What about angle AOE and angle DOC? Are they a linear pair? Is that true or false? AOE and DOC. AOE and DOC. So they do have opposite rays, OC and OA, but they are not adjacent. They don't share a common ray, so they are not a linear pair. So no, even though they have opposite rays, they're not adjacent. They have to be adjacent angles to form a linear pair. So there's defining adjacent angles and a linear pair, and hopefully you can recognize them using their definitions.